I'm sure. Let's write this thing. <laughs> check, check, check. That sound good? Yeah. Well, what you gonna do? Check, check, check. That sound good? Yeah. yeah. Um, greetings, everybody. Everybody who's not been to one of these before, I want you to know this is a haiku slam. So the first thing I want to do in the spirit of poetry slams where we share our innermost feelings and create a sanctified space is we're going to do a motherfucking nature boy check. Nature boy check is where I count to three. When I'm at one, you're going to take a deep ass breath up through your nose, down into your lungs, swirl it around in your gut. When I'm at two, you're going to be swirling around. You're going to get all the bad, nasty, ugly things that drive you crazy about your life. We ain't done one of these since November, even October. And I got so much to let out tonight. And when I get it, it's going to come back up when I go to three. And when we say three, we all going to go... Woo. Like Major Boy Ric Flair, as loud as we need to. If you don't need to be loud, don't be loud. But that means you got a stress-free life and nothing's making you feel good because it can be positive or negative that you express it all at once. And we creating the vibrations of a Southern Gothic futurist haiku slam. So Nature Boy, check. One, two, three. Woo! My name is Raven Mack, a.k.a. Dirt God, a.k.a. 1000 Feathers, a.k.a. Nostradine Shiplet, a.k.a. Shakespeare Greenheart, a.k.a. that motherfucker Dirt God. That's me. I host this. But this is all our event. So if y'all here for the first time, congratulations. You're part of the family. We call each other cousin because cousins are non-gender specific. Your cousin can be male or female or in between. So we all cousins now. This is y'all's first one. This is your first cousins. Y'all been here multiple times. You third or fourth cousins. We all cousins. Welcome to the family, y'all. What is Southern Gothic Futurism? I don't know. It's a philosophy that changes constantly. Southern Gothic Futurism is because we are uniquely positioned. Y'all know about Venn diagrams? Yes. So let's take a Venn diagram, y'all. Bear with me. We're going to draw a circle right here. And this is the South in America. Got a horrible history. We're going to see it right here. Ugly, nasty, disgusting shit done happened in the South. Yet, there's some beautiful people down here too. And they know how to survive all that ugly, nasty, horrible shit. So you got the South. We got another circle right here. This is Appalachia. This is the mountains. This used to be controlled by the indigenous people. Word to the Monacan. They used to roam this area. Indigenous people had it. And then other people from other places who wasn't the good type of white folk that could live down on the coast amongst the nice colonial people. They sent the raggedy ass people up into the mountains. And also, the freed slaves and runaway slaves went up there too. So you take those two circles, put them together, and we right in the middle, y'all. That's Southern Gothic Futurism. It is where brown, black, and poor white live amongst each other and get to ferment together like at a cookout or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ferment what comes next. Because guess what? I got bad news. The way we live in is falling apart, y'all. It's coming to pieces. But that's okay. You got to have hope. And that's what Southern Gothic Futurism is. It's like, the world will end? Damn. I guess we're going to have a cookout. That's what Southern Gothic <laughs> Futurism is. So what is a haiku slam? Very simple. A haiku is a short form of Japanese poetry. Yeah, it's a short form of poetry, 17 syllables or less, one breath, so to speak. People come up here, I got an orange flag and a green flag. One person gonna read first, orange. Green gonna read second. I got three judges positioned in the audience. They got both flags. Damn, I got the wrong flag. <laughs> What'd I give y'all? Green, purple, purple. purple. What I got up here, green? Here we go. We fixing it. Pass them orange ones on that. Well, I need one of them. Well, I got one. Green goes first, orange goes second. My judges will hold up a flag for the one they like better. Judges, you are judging on whichever one feels better, got more height, got more sprite, got more spirit got more whatever you feel like you need to have in that moment. Even if you zone out and ain't even pay attention, just go with what feel right in your subconscious. That's all that matters. Because it's three flags, so two out of three win. It ain't nobody's fault if they don't win. 
Whoever loses goes first the next round until we reach a predetermined number. They advance further in the haiku slam. Additionally, we will have a battle roll, and that will be one and one, you're done, you get off. So people that is new, or if you're sitting here and you're thinking, man, that boy crazy, I could write a haiku for his dumb ass. Write two, and you can come up with a battle roll, and guess what? Guess what? Dirt guy don't walk nowhere without cash money. We got $100 for cash money prizes for people to compete tonight. So you could get paid for poetry. And as a lifelong poet, I can tell you, that don't happen often. <laughs> All right. I usually have a little scoreboard, but I left it at home. But what we gonna do, since I got two, three, four, five, and Thomas, how many you got now, Thomas? Three or four? Like six, seven. You six, I'm going to save you for last in the Tom Haiku Slam because I think you're going to have enough. But just to set the pace, to show y'all how we bob and weave and go back and forth, the first of all, let me just say, I know y'all might have been to a poetry reading before where people are like, I'm now going to share a poem about the Honduran housekeeper who raised me when I was a child. And she used to make these wonderful breakfasts, and my parents were never there, and I'm going to read a poem about that now. We ain't that type of poetry. Y'all can be loud, y'all can get ridiculous, y'all can stamp your feet. If you don't like what I say, y'all throw a chair at me. I don't care. Get wild. Throw a bottle. Let's get wild. Tear it up. Well, don't make a mess for them. But what I'm saying is you can be loud. So to show you how we do it, we're going to do a best of 11 to start it off. Coming up on the orange side is the only person stupid enough to tolerate me on a full-time basis, my partner, Dolly. Woo! Woo! Yeah. And coming up on the green side is my best friend. I love this dude. <laughs> me. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Best of 11. So first one to six. Can somebody... Can you? Will you just be like a little mathematical assistance for me? As yeah. I, I mean, I should remember it, but just kind of be my backup. Is it me? You get to go first. Orange will read first, and then green will read, and judges will hold up flags. Woo! I really thought I'd know who I am by now. <laughs> Abandoned farmhouse with a no trespassing sign stapled to front door. Oh. All right, so that's one for Dolly. She's up one to nothing, going to six. You go to six. You gonna go to six or five? Okay, I'm going to six. I get to go first. Purple crocuses blossoming in the yard by my spray paint milk crates. It's just a lot. Excuse me. It's just societal collapse, not a conspiracy. Yes. It's, it's just societal collapse, not a conspiracy, Pam. <laughs> Judges, one to one. You get to go first. All right. Oh, by the way, real quick, I want to thank Clean Air Seaville. If y'all are on Instagram, you can follow Clean Air Seaville. They provided the three air filters we have in here tonight. Both Dolly and I are just getting over COVID from like a couple weeks ago. So we appreciate the air filters keeping the quality of the air COVID free as possible. Morning dead goose who'd happily bruised the entirety of my body. Old lady yelling, come here baby girl, at her dog barking in road. That's two to one, me. <laughs> Binge watching RuPaul, braless, no concealer, or Botox, real woman. <laughs> Phone number written on a crumpled index card. No memory, why? Three to one. <laughs> Considering carrying a clutch of eggs in my shirt for three weeks. <laughs> That's pretty good too. Brown kudzu vines draped in great tangles over the late winter guardrail. Ooh. And Dolly took that one. Three to two, I'm up. But I get to go first because I lost that round. Brand 
brand new double wide blossoms in a red clay yard amidst the scrub pines. This egg, it could be a baby, could be lunch, looks up incubator. <laughs> three to three, battling back. So y'all see when we go longer, it's an ebb and flow, a bob and weave, a whole stick and move to the whole process. Hope is resistance in society wishing for your submission. Incubator, I barely know her. She's not even hatched. <laughs> <laughs> four to three, Dolly's up, going to six. I'm down, four to three. Humans don't belong in digital rabbit holes. It's too dangerous. Considering a threesome with a donut and some caramel sauce. Five to three. I don't consent. Oh, stop! Thicket of bamboo behind the old Baptist church on a country road. DIY lifestyle for painted shoes to neutering goats. Six to three. Dolly won, y'all. So what that means is, I look at my official sign-up sheet, and under the name Raven Mac, I mark it out with a black line because I got eliminated. I write Dolly again because she has advanced further into the haiku slam, and we do this until there's only one person left. All right, coming up next on the orange side, and I'm like I'm trying to yell like I normally do, but I got post-COVID rasps, so I'm trying not to burn my voice out. But also, it don't matter. Who cares? Coming up on the orange side, y'all give it up for a young person I done seen grow up at these haiku slams and about to leave the country. I hope you never come back. And I mean that with all love because it's a good country to get out of right now. Y'all give it up for Elena. Yeah! And on the other side, y'all give it up. First time competitor. Let's hear it for Penn. Adjust it how you want it. Make it feel good. I want everybody to feel comfortable. Y'all feel good? You feel ready to roll? Everybody, everybody good? Y'all good? Y'all ain't got to stop having conversations or nothing, but let's, let's do this. All right, we ready? Orange goes first. Elena. Skeletal harmony is carried in the cold black air. Coyote song. Sculpting my new life, stitched together with some thread. Beautiful future made from scraps. Judges. All right, Orange took that one, one to nothing. You see, yep. now that's the beauty of the haiku slam, because it's like a literary cookout. Everybody <laughs> bring their own flavor, you know what I'm saying? Ben, you down one nothing, but you got some ooze with that first one. I sure did. Go first. Don't peek around, come on in. Don't be shy. Finding my stress relief, hitting my friends thrice a week. Skate fast, eat trash. <laughs> <laughs> The unspeakable dread of being trailed by a silent herd of cows. Judges. <laughs> Elena's up two to nothing. We're going to three, Penn. You get to go first down two to nothing. A mix of hard and soft. Go with me hard and so fast. Cuddle me when it's past. Mm. Elena. <laughs> I asked 90% of the questions, so he thinks the date went well. Judges. <laughs> and Elena took it, y'all. Three to nothing. Y'all yeah. give it up for Elena. Coming up on the orange side, 
This person used to be a battle royal specialist and took the battle royal money like 19 months in a row. This person showed up at my house when I was having a haiku slam with nothing but me and the crows, showed up at the last minute and took half a quart of peanuts winning the battle royal. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Inya. Yeah. And on the green side, not only is this a first time competitor, this is a young person who sat down and started writing haiku about 20 minutes ago. Yeah! Y'all give it up for Thomas! Yeah! Yeah! Thomas! Alright, how far are you along? We got like seven now? Okay, we're gonna do best of five. We're gonna do best of five, first one to three. Get it right, man. Make yourself good. Look how tiny it is. Alright, so we're going best of five, first one to win three, and that person's gonna make it to the final. How about that, y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you get to go first. Not yet, March. Birds already teaching tadpoles how to sing. Thomas. <laughs> He grabbed an apron. Smelly, smelly, smelly. Ew. <laughs> Don't let them trip you up, man. That's good. Come on. Judges? All right, Thomas. Yeah! <laughs> Thomas up one to nothing. Amy, you get to go first. Go on to three. Before you take moons for granted, plants do most of their growing at night. Thomas. Stickers keep sticking onto the stickiest walls. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Thomas took the other one up. Yeah. Two to nothing. Two to nothing. Indy, you down two to nothing. So now you got to come with authority. Or not. Neighbor John steers drone from his trailer. We share spliffs, coronas, chuckles. <laughs> Thomas. Eating brownies that are dark while in a park by myself while talking to a guy named Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. And that one goes to Enya. So it's two to one. But Thomas is still up. You need one more round. Thomas, you get to go first. Up two to one. What up, y'all? Come on in the house. Sit a spell. We have a little fat old fashioned haiku slam. Yeah. Alright. Hot teapots being broken in a parking lot while I step onto the top of the little curb next to the parking lot. Enya? How's my winter been? Y'all ever seen a hermit crab without her shell? <laughs> Judges. And you took that one. It's two to two. So that means whoever wins this is going to advance on. Thomas, you get to go first. <coughs> Put on a jacket to make the winners easier, but my heart can still feel the shivers. Cicadas will be here soon to remind as above is so below. Mm. Judges. And that's going to go to Inya. But y'all give it up for Tom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Inya advances on. Do I have any late arrivers that have haiku that want to sign up for the haiku slam proper? All right, then we will keep going. My favorite thing about having COVID the second time was I had congestion, and I would go, huh, huh. And I told my kids I was a bad guy from Scooby-Doo all day. I was like, huh, huh, huh. Like, that's all I did all day long. 
coming back up on the orange side. Y'all give it up for Dolly. And coming back up on the green side, y'all give it up for Elena. Yeah. And we're doing best of seven this time. You know why it changes all the time? Because I'm chaotic. That's why. <laughs> Dolly, you get to go first. We're going to four. Wait, hold up. Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Woo! Now, hold up. Y'all gonna have to woo more because, like, with my voice being raspy, I can't get the right woo. I can't do my right woos. I can't yell, kitty, kitty. I can't do that right. I can't do them things. So we're gonna need a little bit more Nature Boy check. One more time, y'all. Dig down deep. Think about something been bugging the shit out of you and just give it a woo. Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Whoa! Now we talk. Dolly, you get to go first. We're going to four. Re envisioning art for post capitalistic world. Just living. Elena. Soft, fleeting intimacy, moving in sync with strangers at salsa. Ooh, judges. Dolly goes up one to nothing. That was a good pair right there. You got a lot of oohs and down. Elena, you down one to nothing, but you win and lose. <laughs> Teens at Tea Bazaar give staff furtive looks while hightailing to the lounge. <laughs> Dolly. Contemplated 17 syllables of COVID coughing realness. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Dolly up two to nothing. One to four. Elena, you down two to nothing. In college, recklessly forming theories on a world I've barely seen. Dolly. 49 and six months feel like half century and a baby chick. Judges. Yeah. Elena took that one two to one. Fighting back, y'all. Two to one, y'all. Yeah. Go first. Years of my life measured by half life of dishes in the sink. <laughs> Come on in, don't be shy. Middle-aged white man shopping at Wegmans wears a shirt that says, stay woke. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, Lena took that one yeah. two to two. I wanna punch that guy. <laughs> Dolly, you get to go first, two to two. John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith is my dog's name too. Elena. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, lone man prays for my soul before I enter Planned Parenthood. How kind. <laughs> Judges. Elena up three to two, y'all. Three to two. One more wins it. Dolly down three to two. You get to go first. The tension is thick. The crowd is silent. Hmm. Pick me mentality of my youth changed to who me of age. <laughs> <laughs> Bouquet of mushrooms tumble out of the crevice in a dying tree. Judges. Dolly took that one, but that got a ooh for me. I love a mushroom haiku. Three to three. <laughs> Rubber wins this. We'll go to our grand finale of the main haiku slam. Elena, you get to go first. <laughs> Put snacks, books, and shoes in high places because the puppy is anxious. <laughs> Dolly. Two obsessive humans helping each other be a little less manic. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Dolly wins it, y'all. <laughs> Four to three. <laughs> Thank you, Elena. Yeah. Damn, that leaves. How many you got left, Dolly? Uh, yes. And what you got left? <laughs> and yes. Uh, 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 yes. Yes. Can we do a best of nine? Y'all got enough to do best of nine? Or best of seven? Do I hear seven? Can I get seven? Yes. Can we do seven? We got seven. Best of seven. We're going best of seven. Hey, y'all, I just want to tell y'all while y'all here, in the microphone so y'all can hear, my name is Raven Mack, and I do got a merch table, and there's some awesome ass postcards over there because I'm in the postcard business now. I'm planning on retiring on postcard profits in the next two years. 
Ain't never gonna happen. Don't nobody buy postcards. Nobody mail postcards. That's a perfect reason to buy some postcards and mail them to the people you love or the people you hate. I don't know how you work. Maybe you like negative reverse double psychology. Whatever. Just support me. All right, coming up for our grand finale of the Haiku Slam, but we're gonna have a battle roll too. And me and I got $100 cash money support from Joy Menagerie, local nonprofit. The winner of the slam is going to get $40, and the runner-up is going to get $30. Can you imagine that getting $40 for writing haiku in the year, what's the year? 2024. That's crazy, y'all. You're getting paid for syllables. On the orange side, y'all give it up for Inya. And on the green side, y'all give it up for Dolly. I seem to be not saying enough. And you? For Zora Heard, the best judge in Haiku Slam history. Machines connect their synapses and we don't. Mm. <laughs> 
becoming heaven, these new eyes growing, see all love is worth knowing. Judges, Dolly took that one three to two. Going to four, and you? Three to two, you need one more, maybe two if you lose this record. <laughs> How to talk to birds, pluck your banjo, sing sweet ditties they want to hear. <laughs> Dolly? That fucking hawk, mean eyed as it eats through my hen's dead lifeless carcass. Judges. And in you took it, y'all. In you win. <laughs> And you hold up forty dollars. And if you can come back next month on March twenty-first, yeah, March twenty-first is when we coming back. You get to take on Audrey. Yeah. <laughs> now, last thing we got, I got thirty dollars left in my pocket, so we doing a battle roll. Anybody got haiku to want to come up in here? You might not need more than one or two. If you got any left? Come on up. I'm gonna put my name because I need that thirty dollars because I can't make it back to Skyler if I don't. Thomas, who else? Elena. Oh, no. <laughs> Dolly. Who else? Pen. Who else we got? Anybody else? Any secret haikus? Hand them flags over. You gonna do it in? You gonna take over Judge? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me go. Uh, will you hand me that little stack with the purple clip right there? Yeah. Yeah. Now we talk. Uh oh. All right. So we got six people. I'm going to call up on the orange side. It's one and you done. If you lose, you get the hell off the stage. The last person left get $30. Dolly, you on the orange side. Raven, you on the green side. Go ahead. Backyard politics of introducing new geese who won't get eaten. <laughs> oh, shit. Another goddamn meeting, I think, his laptop dings at me. <laughs> Dolly beat me. Down for the count. Goodbye, Raven. Get off the stage. I can't. I'm the host. Don't nobody care. <laughs> Coming up on the orange side, y'all give it up for Thomas. Yeah. And on the green side, Elena. Uh-oh. Thomas, you get to go first. All right. <clears throat> Technology taking away my attention span, so I guess I can't give attention seekers to span. Oh. <laughs> Three-story house with a five-car garage for one retired couple. Huh. Judges. Thomas took it. Y'all give it up for Elena. Yeah. Got that passport stamp. Get ready to lead the country next week. I hope you have a good time. Yeah. Coming up on the orange side, y'all give it up for Pin. And on the green side, Zora. Wait, hold up. It's your official haiku stage debut, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. Debut, and that's the mysterious debut. Didn't even do the regular slam, but when the battle roll comes, I'm ready. Pin, you can go first. I feel like our life is you eating my chips. For me, empty bag. Zora. Yes, but there's a man filming, so no, not now, but. Later, yeah, I guess. <laughs> 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 Judges, the Zora took that one. Give it up for Pin, who made it that day. Yeah. Dolly, Thomas. Yeah. Dolly gets to go first. <clears throat> Aged hound keeps me company, blessed to have his presence with me still. So embarrassed at the world that I might as well embarrass myself to make the embarrassment feel enough. <laughs> Thomas took that one. Yeah! Zora on the orange side, Thomas on the green side. This is it, y'all. $30 to the winner. Is that right? How much I got left? Yeah, $30. $30. So look, hold up. Hold up before we do this round. Thomas showed up in here, and that piece of paper was blank. And he wrote them like who since he sat down. Yeah! This is Zora's second haiku. 
So conceivably, she could win almost a dollar per syllable. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting paid like that nowhere else on earth. I'm telling you. All right, Zora, you get to go first. What I want to know is who poisoned the children with this unkindness? Mm -hmm. Thomas? That was it. That was it. My Subaru keeps breaking down. Man, it really got me breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> Judges? And that's gonna go to Zora! Oh. So yeah, that's how this works. My name is Raven Malcolm. This is the first one we've done this year. I always take winners off, so we're a little bit out of practice. But y'all, thank y'all for being here tonight. We're going to do this again on Thursday, March 21st. You can follow me on social media. I got a So Go Foo Haiku Slams IG. We do going to be doing this in Richmond before long, and I'm cooking up having this happen in Stanton as well. So, so yeah. we're doing it, y'all. And y'all all welcome to share as long as you got something that feels important to share. And I normally I would be better off the top of the head, but my brain is melting. It's been a long week, and it's actually been a long winter, man. And I'm actually very thankful we get to have this because it's been a hard couple months for you, boy. So I'm glad I got to see some of you. See y'all next month. Yeah. And if y'all judge, give me my damn flags back. <laughs> Thank you to the T Bazaar, too. Yeah. Oh, we got an official scorecard.